guys, what's up? It's me, Jonah here. Today we are going to be back for part three of our Ray and James games intro. So basically, this is what we have so far. If you want to know how we did this, how we did these really cool looking textures, please watch the first two tutorials. They'll be on the screen right now. So, in this video, we are going to be doing a helix, which will, um... Well, I'll show you how to do it, and, um, we're also going to be setting up camera angles and showing our export settings. So, let's get into this. So, um, we come here, it spins around, I'm gonna start at 110. It's really up to you when you want to start your helix. You probably don't want to do it when it's spinning, you kind of want to do it more as, like, a kind of calm or like stopped kind of motion so uh let's first we got it. what we're going to do is we're going to go to our spline tool right here we're going to create a rectangle now um i'll show you what all these things do so a rectangle and then we're going to make a helix right here then we're going to make go on here this weird green box thingy and you're going to hit sweet nerves so um, you're going to put the helix under there, and I don't know, sometime, I kind of see if the rectangle's above, no, no, so the helix is underneath the rectangle, I, I basically, I do this, I don't know, going in, so we're gonna make this down, we're gonna put this down to like 10, and make the height down to 10 also, so, uh, this, actually, wait, I'm not, so, as you can see, guys, let me show you some things. So, see this? See how it's a rectangle here? That's why it's called a rectangle. The helix is just the motion of the thing. The way it's shaped is a rectangle. So if I wanted to change this, which I actually do, and a lot of people do this for helixes, but uh, when they do it for, um, when they do things for, uh, arcs they actually use a rectangle because it looks nicer but it's up to you whatever looks nicer in your opinion so we use a circle so let's uh put the radius down to like 10 uh, i'm gonna actually put it down a little less than that you it's really up to you a lot of this in these are just like preference and it's totally up to you okay let's see if is this centered straight on it's centered so it's just turns here so at 110 here, so I'm just gonna move my sweet nerves to uh, rotate it to right here. Meh, that's kind of where I want it to be. Okay. Hmm, I'm gonna make it a tiny bit. Uh, I'm gonna make the helix or the sweet nerves actually a little bit um, bigger. So, um,. I can do this by hitting the scale button, and this is the easiest in my opinion, and just make it a little bigger like that. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. So you can edit these helix settings. Um, I don't know really the specifics on <laughs> what all these do. I kind of just mess with things. So see, that makes the first one go like big. Uh, I think the height is how long it is. I'm gonna go for a kind of long one, and what is this, subdivision, that does nothing, so I'm just gonna hit control Z just in case. That's weird, height bias. Okay, so radial bi bias does nothing, end angle, oh, okay, okay, the end angle makes it longer. Yeah, so the main ones you're gonna want to mess with are the end angle and the height. The height's gonna make it go a lot bigger, and yeah. So what I like to do, and what I think most people do, is you're going to increase this so it covers the whole whatever your whatever the text is. So let's just make it a little bit longer here, and there we go. Um, let me rotate this a tiny bit. Okay, so guys, as I'm doing these tutorials, 
If you have any questions, ask me in the comments because I am I know this stuff. Well, I know most of the stuff, and I would really be happy to help you guys out with learning how to do this kind of stuff because I know it is complicated. It took me a long time to learn, and I'm still learning. I mean, there's so many people better than me right now. Uh, so for this, um, what color do we want? I want something that stands out compared to the other things. So I'm gonna go with, uh... Hmm. I'm gonna go with the red. Seems right. So, let's see how this looks. Looks nice. Yeah, a little wrap around. So now I'm gonna show you how to keyframe. So this really got me, it, it was really complicated for me at first. So we're gonna go to the object here. And first what thing we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna put the end growth down to zero and we're gonna keyframe that okay so you can keyframe by holding control down and just clicking on this little open box so now we're gonna go to the part where we want it to uh, be at full motion so I'm gonna go to 130 and there we are it's at full motion now and now we're gonna keyframe that again now if you're used to using keyframe this makes sense to you so, um, I'm actually going to move this. Here, I'm going to move this to 140. I'm going to keyframe at 130. I'm going to keyframe the start growth. So, that's where it's going to go here and come back in. So, now I'm going to go to here. I'm going to go to 60. Why not? And then I'm going to uh, turn up the start growth. Tell there's nothing left and then we're gonna keyframe it again so now we have a very clean it comes over and comes back really nice looking so yeah so I'm gonna deselect this and so we have all our helix done it looks nice and I, I'm really good like this so um now we're going to add a camera holy crap so if it's black up here, that means you're not in your camera. And if it's white, you're in your camera. So see, you can tell the difference. Oh, crap. Okay, so it comes in. Boom. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have... Hmm. I'm going to have... I'll just keep the camera the same. Uh up until here like when it gets to 40 so from 40 till the end I'm, just, I'm not gonna do too much I'm just gonna have simple move it here and how I'm going to rotate it is I'm gonna go out of my camera by clicking that uh, white thing and then it turns black and then I'm going to do a quick little rotation here and I'm gonna rotate the camera because I can't really rotate it while I'm in the camera for some weird reason okay so I just keyframed it um, it's off to the side but you know sometimes it doesn't always have to be centered and it just kind of gives some perspectives and makes it really cool now um yeah if you guys well I'm not gonna say anything well here's the thing if you if you don't use something like particular or something that you can track do some sort of motion tracking the camera angles are going to look really weird it's just gonna look like the text fades away instead of you actually having a camera movement away and so you might want to get particular but that'll be in the After Effects tutorial and you'll see in the future so we're gonna quickly go here we're gonna go to our settings and see what we can do with this so we have our 1920 by 1080 that's classic for 1080p you can do 1280 by 720 and that will make it 720p if you don't have as good of a um, computer and it doesn't export as fast so uh, you're gonna change this to all frames or a custom frame frame, fra <laughs> frame range 
And uh, as you can see, I made it go up to 250 frames because that's how long I made the intro. And you can make it longer by just uh, selecting this right here and just making it longer. So next, we have basically have all this. You want to make your frame rate 30. So every 30 is one second. And if you turn that to 60, you're going to have to edit your intro because it's going to appear faster if you keep it at what your 30 settings were. So that's that's what that is. Um, and basically, that's pretty much it. So uh, we're, that's our output. So what you're going to do under save. So basically, I, I don't really have a graphics folder. Most people do. I usually save it to my desktop. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call it tutorial. And as you can see, I, it's saved as Ujelly. That's just because that was the last intro I did. So I'm going to do tutorial. What is this name? What's the name of it? It's going to... I'm just going to call it Tut. So that's basically what the name is of it. So what you want to do here is you want to save it as a PNG. And that might seem really weird. It's going to save as a bunch of pictures. And that might seem a little weird to you, but trust me, it'll be good. So, next thing you want to do is you want to check Alpha Channel. That allows you to make a custom background in um, in After Effects. So, uh, before I do this, you want to... Lightrooms come with a custom render settings, but if you don't have that then definitely what you want to do is you want to uh, at least put on ambient occlusion and global illumination under here by hitting effect and then clicking those. Trust me, those will make your intros look from like a piece of crap to really good. Trust me, put that on. With this, they have a bunch of other custom things that I don't really know a lot about myself. So, yeah. <laughs> now there's something if you are using this is only if you're using particular and you're using camera angles this is your composing project file so you want to hit save you want to check all of these and then you want to hit the target application to after effects this is basically everything here but you must click this if you want to do some really cool things in after effects with it that's pretty much it I'm going to render it out and I will um, see you in the next part where I will be finishing up this tutorial in After Effects. See you all later. Bye. Oh wait, by the way, you hit this to render <laughs> if you didn't know. So yeah, it's rendering. See you all later. Bye.